Thursday, we're out in this horrible place with two GSs. And you'll notice that I'm not going anywhere near that one because I've been riding this one. Yeah, and you won't let me ride it, and I'm quite sad. And I've got to tell you guys, I've got to tell you, and, and I'm sorry to, to previous edition GS owners, BMW has pulled the rabbit out the hat with this bike. Yeah. Sean is generally a faster rider than I am. I'm not going to tell you the speeds we ran. We did we did roll-ons from second. We did roll-ons from third. We did roll-ons from fourth. And there's enough talk even for fifth. Yeah. This and we, bike, also, we also did a off, off, off first. Yeah. So. This bike simply smokes, smokes. And it's not even a little bit. It smokes the, the previous 1250 by miles. It's when we initially started doing the roll-ons. You were in road mode and I was in dynamic pro. Correct. And you were still dropping me. Road mode still dropped. Then I discovered that it had a button that said dynamic. Dynamic is mind blowing. It just it brings this whole motorcycle to life. Mm. And of course, with the shift cam engine, yeah. it's already made a huge difference. Yeah, it feels like a steam I, engine. I've ridden yeah. every rendition of this bike mm. from the very first thousand to your 1150 mm. to, to the one prior to this, to that one, to this one. Um, it's like, it's like a whole new motorbike. Yeah. But it isn't. It's still typical BMW. You jump on it, you rev it, it sounds like a BMW. It feels like a BMW. But the performance, my goodness yeah. gracious. For the little bit that I managed to get it away from you for all three minutes of it. Yeah. Uh, it feels, like you say, it, it feels BMW. You yes. know you're getting onto the GS. Yeah, they've kept the lineage, which is but what people want. It also feels lighter and more nimble. It doesn't feel as bulky. I mean, this is not even an adventure. Yeah. And that feels slimmer. More nimble, more narrow, more lightweight, more agile than this does. And it this does. is this. And no, you can't have it back. It does. So Sean rode this from the dealership. Well, Westrand, thank you so much, guys. What's the official name? BMW Motorhead Westrand. BMW Motorhead Westrand. Uh, and in fact, I lie. You rode that one from BMW Motorhead in, in Eastrand. Eastrand, yeah. yeah. BMW Motorhead. So he spent the whole day. I got onto this at Westrand. We've ridden out to the cradle of mankind. Uh, I don't know. Are we on the Hickport Road, on, on the satellite road? So we've probably done, you've probably done 150 odd Ks and a very short blast on this. Mm. I've done quite a lot on this yeah. one. Guys, I've, I've got to tell you, there's there's lots of things that they've they've done to this motorcycle. The front suspension is all upgraded. If you have a look at it, it's got proper thick, beefy forks. Um, the rear suspension has been changed up. The geometry of the bike, it's a little bit longer. Um, it's it feels narrower and it's 12 kilograms lighter. Put it all down on paper, Sean. That bike is certainly no slouch. Yeah. But revving it through the gears, I could feel like it doesn't get out of shape. That's the wrong word. But this just feels so much more stable, more planted, and it is super comfortable. It's still got a variant of the tele lever in there, but it's more of a brace, more of a stabilizer than an actual tele lever suspension. These if days. you just look at the forks, they've got really big fork yeah, tensions in there now. Yeah. And uh, wow, I think they've made it more, more extreme, more off road. And it did it from, from the back, you didn't have the typical GS uh riding position, which is quite relaxed and quite mm. um, looks yeah, a little bit more sporty. It, it, you're sitting more upright, you're sitting more, um, you're sitting more in a almost a super Mozart position, attack position, but still, but still relaxed. Yeah, well, I've, I've got to tell you, and, and people who know me know what's happened. I'm totally comfortable. Yeah. And, and it's a big-ass 1300. And there's something else. The way that this bike makes power, it's not like rip your arms off. I'd, until you do a roll-on, you don't actually realize how quick it is. Yeah. This bike is exceptionally quick. Yeah. There is one thing I want to talk about, and that's, you know, when you do any photography, TV stuff, whatever, um, you tend to do an awful lot of U-turns. So you tend to test how how nimble a bike is in doing U-turns. If you talk to a guy like Donovan Ferry, yeah. he's the U-turn champion of, of Joburg, okay? I've got a feeling with them extending the, the swing arm on this a little bit, yeah. this one doesn't turn quite as nicely as that one does on the top. Oh, we'll try it a little bit later. Yeah. But uh, Sean, my suggestion is that none. Uh, yeah, mate. Uh, yeah. Just thank you, sir. Here's your helmet. No, no, no. Here's your Come helmet. Now. Go away. Go away. <laughs> yeah, no offense. I do like it, but I prefer that one.
of German manufactured motorcycles, our opinion is that BMW has knocked this one completely out of the park. We suggest that you get down to your local dealer and take it for a ride. The GS 1300 came from BMW Motorrad West Rand. The 1250 was from BMW Motorrad East Rand. Thanks a lot.